Hey there friends, thanks for checking in at the range. Now we've got the Diamondback DB9 Gen 4. Very thin, lightweight, 9mm handgun with a single stack magazine that holds 6 rounds. Many people didn't know that Diamondback has 4 generations for the DB9 series. It does, and this is the Gen 4. We're going to talk about some of the improvements. But let's go ahead and shoot it and see how it does. All right, one of the things that the Gen 4 model has is a slide stop pin, which allows the slide to lock back after the last round. 3.1 inch barrel, the grip texturing is different. All right, it's actually a pretty nice texturing, very thin, very lightweight. 16 and a half ounces loaded with seven rounds, so that is very light. They changed the grip texturing, they put a slide stop in there, but they also changed the trigger. And I already talked about the mag. It comes with one mag, but two different base plates. This is the, the extended base plate that allows three finger contact on the DB9 Gen 4. The three dot sights are Glock interchangeable, so that's good. But I, I started to talk about the trigger. Seven and a half pound double action trigger pull. All right, but what they did was made the reset much shorter, right there. Which is, which is a nice feature for the, the DB9. 0.81 inches wide on the slide. So it's very lightweight, very small. I think they increased the trigger pull weight for the people that pocket carry. And that, that would make perfect sense. It's very, very small and lightweight. So when you shoot the gun, it does hit you back a little bit. It, not too uncontrollably, but it does hit you back a little bit. This is not the type of gun where you're going to take out to the range and, and shoot a whole, you know, 300 rounds through it. You're not going to do that. You're going to make sure that it functions. You're going to put various types of ammo through it. And you're going to make sure you can hit your target. Now, I did okay with this. But I will say that it has been an adjustment for me to be able to shoot and hit the target even from here. I have to raise that front sight up quite a bit. It's very common, every gun has a different point of impact. But this one, it took a little while, but I think I have it now, I'm not sure. But also, per your request, I have, uh, what, five, uh, six different types of ammo that we're gonna run through this to make sure this is reliable. I will also mention that the MSRP is 269, Right at around 210, 220 will get you the DB9 Gen 4, so it's priced right. And we're gonna check out some of the reliability today. Here we have 115 grain MagTech target loads. The DB9 Gen 4 is, in my opinion, a close range gun. You know, you're not gonna be making long shots with this, but I am going to try this time to speed it up a little bit. I don't expect this to be epic, but we're gonna try it. All right, so that worked pretty good. I used a 12 o'clock hold. So right above that target, if that was a clock, and right where the, the hole is where it's hanging from the shepherd hook, if that was 12 o'clock, that's where I aimed. Here we have LTEC 124 grain self-defense loads. I will mention that this DB9 Gen 4 is plus P rated. I wouldn't recommend it, but it is plus P rated. Let's start on the left this time. 12 o'clock. All right. I seem to be all over the plates, but those shots are still combat effective. All right, here are the arms core. Let's slam the mag home and see if it charges the slide. And it does. All right. I'm going to try some controlled pairs this time and see how I do. Hit the first one. I think I know part of the problem. This rear sight slid off to the side. See that? It's sliding on me. So I'm going to have to dial that down a little bit. But it did loosen up a bit. I still have, I believe, 
two rounds in here. Okay, just one, one round in there. All right, so far the DB9 has eaten everything that I fed it. But here we have Remington UMC. I guess this is what you call a drift adjustable rear sight. So if I don't hit the target, that may be why. But we're gonna try anyways because I'm not far away. All right. The Winchester USA Ready has a flat tip. Let's see how it does with the DB9. All right, it's been ejecting really well, except that last one came back at me, but I think that's the only one that has done that so far. Diamondback DB9 lip wrist test. Pretty good. It passed. The DB9 performed well. It ate everything that I fed it. I got used to the trigger. I got used to the point of impact. If I had a problem with this gun, it is the mag release. I have to change the, the grip and position my thumb perfectly to drop that magazine. The rear sight does drift a little bit, and so that needs to be tightened down. Probably some Loctite would help. But overall, I felt the DB9 performed well. It certainly ate up six types of ammo, no problem. And I'm kind of impressed with it. I think I need some more time with this gun, but I think it's priced right. And I think that it certainly proved itself at the range. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate the thumbs up button. Thanks for watching and you guys be safe.